And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall aggro. We're going to be trying a new list with our Nightfall aggro deck and not just Nocturne and Diana, but also with Aphelios in here. And as far as like which ones of the three champions to play, it's pretty hard to kind of figure out, honestly. And so I'm going to just take the Coward's Way out and split them, split them up. We're going to have two Nocturne, two Aphelios, two Diana, because I like all three of the champions a whole bunch. Of course, Aphelios is like the one that you kind of want to play three of, probably. Um, but if, if we want to play a more aggressive deck and, and everything, Aphelios, um, yeah, Aphelios is great at playing like a really long game. But if we're trying to play an aggressive game, maybe Aphelios won't be as good. Um, the thing about playing an aggressive Nightfall deck is not a whole lot of removal, right? Because you, you want to play a lot of units and attack and that kind of stuff. So not a lot of room for removal. And like with these regions... The removal spells aren't the best in an aggro deck. You know, you're looking at maybe like Black Spear. Like talk about like removals that can kill other champions. You know, like maybe like Black Spear or Grasp the Undying, Vengeance, um, the six mana one, Sunburst. Those are all you know, like they're all pretty expensive and slow for what we want to be doing. And so because of that, my point the point is is that both Diana and Nocturne are really valuable because th these are going to be your things that kill other champions. You know, whether you're giving Diana quick attack challenger or whether you're giving uh, Noc you know, Nocturne with the vulnerable, these are going to be cards that um, uh, kill champions. And so they're both they're both valuable in their own respect. So it's hard to play like three Aphelios and then three like Nocturne because maybe you need that that Diana. Um, you know, quick attack challenger or like the same, you know, like maybe you need, maybe you need like this, uh, if we go Aphelios Diana, then you don't have like the knock, the ability to just, uh, one shot your opponent with like giving all of your, um, allies fearsome and like that greatness that Nocturne can be. So like if, if I'd have to pick two champions, I'd probably go Aphelios Nocturne. But Diana's really strong with the Quick Attack Challenger. And then plus, your leveled up Diana can grow really big if you play a lot of Nightfall stuff. And that's going to be important because, since we're an aggro deck, I think one of the moon weapons that will be um, important here is this Infernum giving the plus two, plus one in Overwhelm. Right? Imagine putting this on like a Diana that's a 7 3 or a 9 3, you know, Quick Attack Challenger. You can give it, give Diana Overwhelm. So I, I didn't really want to take Diana out either. So we're just going to play uh, two of each champion. Besides that, we got um, most of, you know most of our uh, Nightfall cards. Um, so since I couldn't really fit in removal, what we're doing here is we're playing two copies of Spell Thief. So Spell Thief is basically going to be my card that takes the removal spell, like whatever good removal spell my opponent's playing. You know, like they're playing Aftershock and Gotcha and Mystic Shot and that kind of stuff. I want to take those cards from them. Also, I felt like. Uh, spell Thief could be a good way to turn on Nightfall, with it just being a one mana burst spell um, a little later on in the game. Not not exactly immediately, because they probably haven't played the spells you want to take yet, but later on. So we're going to play two copies of Spell Thief. Uh, one Evershade Stalker in here to help finish out games. Plus, Evershade Stalker should be a pretty cool card with Aphelios, because as you know with Crescendum, if it has Nightfall, you activate it. So Crescendum can go put an Evershade Stalker into play and activate the Nightfall, create the copy of Evershade Stalker in hand, and you're good to go from there. And now you have Evershade Stalker in your hand, plus, you know, like the one in play. So that could be kind of cool. So we got that to go along with the Lunar Shade Stalker. And uh, that's kind of about it. Oh, new new card that I haven't ever played before, the Cloven Way. You know, it has like the double stun on there with the 5-4 Overwhelm. That could be pretty cool. We're going to just try this out since we're going to be a more aggressive version. And also, I'm, I am going to play one Eclipse Dragon for this top end card. That could be atrocity, that could be um, a removal spell, or it could even be the other card I was thinking about was the Cygnus. Or yeah, Cygnus, there you are. Cygnus, you know, can give the elusive. That could be kind of cool too. Decided to just go with Eclipse Dragon just because of how good this card is with the, with the Nightfall of creating the other stuff, like as far as winning late games go. And I thought that even though it's a 7-7 seven, seven, that gets blocked really easily, I thought that pairing Eclipse Dragon with Aphelios that can again give Overwhelm, I thought that could be kind of nice. Um, you know, maybe we can make it a, a nine power Overwhelm. So anyway, that's our that's our whole deck. We'll have gifts from Beyond also for those Moon Weapons because they're so great. Another good card to turn on. Um, turn on Nightfall, gifts from Beyond. But let's get to it. So we'll play our five games in Ranked. All right, Prediction. Let's get that going. What are we playing against? 
Twisted Fate Jinx. That sounds like a casino deck to me. So we have some early cards to turn on. Nightfall, which is good. Gifts from Beyond's always awesome. Cloven Way. Um, I mean, I like Cloven Way, but I'm just going to mulligan it because it's not a card that we need in the first however many turns of the game. And just like most decks, our champions, our, when I said our, like we our champions once. are going to be important and powerful and we want to draw them. No more hiding. Where do you stand on cold shots? Okay. I'm gonna get the, the two cost follower. Pass the turn. Probably playing Doom Beast right here. We play in build rules, son. The soldier is gonna just help me turn on Nightfall later. But we have a lot of ways to turn on Nightfall. us for three. No, it seems like a lot, but it's only three. Hmm. <clears throat> if I pass, do they pass? A game. Go on, man. Okay, because so, they, they got, they had one card that was fleeting, and so that was the fleeting card, was the pool shark. And this doesn't matter which one we choose. We don't have an Aphelios in play. They're gonna have four fleeting cards next turn. It's a lot of fleeting cards. So they have Mystic Shot and pick a card, two good cards to take with Spell Thief. They're gonna have four fleeting cards here with the six mana. All four of those. I hope there's like two Jinx and two Twisted Fate out of those four. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. Okay. So that was one of the fleeting cards. gonna make these all zero power so we don't have to worry about like taking a bunch of damage. The weak don't okay. Okay. That's a that's a thing. At least all these two ones are now one ones. Which one of these is vulnerable? Where why is the Where's the vulnerable? <laughs> I don't know I don't know which pool shark's vulnerable. Oh, did they replace it? Oh, they replaced it. Okay, they replaced it was they had three of these, they replaced it with the Jagged Butcher. Okay. Okay, it got replaced. No mercy for heretics. The guilty will bend. Figured it out. It was replaced. Alright, so they're able to get rid of all four of their fleeting cards. Oh, these all of those. Um 
So I could level up Nocturne. Right? We have one, two, three. Yeah. We can play three of these. You can play it Never Shade Stalker. Yeah, maybe we just do that. So I, I could go Dust into Eclipse. So basically my options are Dust, Eclipse, Dragon, and then that's it. Or play Shade Stalker, double Ever Shade Stalker. And then have leveled up Nocturne attack in. I guess they get to block Nocturne with this Taskmaster. Alright, we're gonna play this. I'm always up for a round or two. Gonna keep Nocturne alive. Hold it, partner. And I'm just going to pass. Okay. The ever the this thing attacking wouldn't be necessarily too bad. I mean, it put it down to one health though, so like another, like a twisted fate red card. Be messy. Okay. So you block there. You block here. You block here. You kill that thing. And right now, this is me taking four damage. I guess I probably have to block with you, Nocturne. Don't necessarily want to, but I think I do. I think I have to. can just play Diana like I could just play Diana right now it will still have like chat you know all I have to do is just play a nightfall card next turn like a Evershade stalker and it'll still have the challenger quick attack so I can I can go grab lifesteal moon weapon next turn like I'll, I'll save this three spell mana and then I can get lifesteal put it on the Diana or I can just go for overwhelm and go for the kill you know so we could we kind of go either way Probably need lifesteal. I guess if they, if they have Twisted Fate gold card or just any removal for my Diana or, you know, like a Get Excited. Either of those is going to be pretty bad for me. I could do lifesteal on the Eclipse Dragon, though. I kind of need them to not kill my Diana. Yeah, so I either go Eclipse or Cloven Way plus Evershade Stalker. Alright, I guess I'll go this Eclipse. They do have... Something for Alright, they're going red card. I want Overwhelm next. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. But it's more likely they'll be able to kill... The Diana. No more lies. I will be heard. Yep. So if I want to try putting the life steal on on the Diana. They would have killed it. But that's, that's the worst thing for me to see with those last three cards, right? A Twisted Fate and a Get Excited. Then empty the hand for Jinx. That was that was the worst we could see in, in you know, the Kill My Diana. So this is going to be difficult to win from here. Keep 
after all these jinxes. They didn't kill my Eclipse Dragon. No, I don't think we need to drain the Poro. This does open up another Get Excited killing my Cloven way, but I feel like if they draw Get Excited, they're going to uh, go upstairs with it. Because, of course, we're going with the open attack. And now I do have the unspeakable... If they do have Get Excited to do three damage to me, I have the unspeakable horror. Oh, but then they get they get the super mega death rocket. Hmm. Does this kill them? Four, five. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. We got this. We can just drain their nexus. That puts them down to zero. Puts them to zero. Me to one. Man, three get excited in a row. But this worked out with you know saving that unspeakable horror. So they didn't you know didn't kill like my cloven way. Because if, if they would have used that, get excited just to kill the Cloven way, we would have lost. But I, I tempted them into hitting my Nexus. And there we go. GG's. Back to Aphelios. So Aphelios, Zoe, they're going Freljord. Channel point prediction is available. You can predict win or loss against Freljord version. So I'm not sure what kind of two drop they're going to be playing in Freljord. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they got with Freljord. Could just be like protection spells, you know, like your Elixir of Iron Troll Chant type stuff. Could be some Frostbite. My hand is, you know, just kind of mediocre cards in our deck. I'm going to send them back, look for champions. And uh, things that turn on Nightfall better. So we didn't get... Uh, we didn't get any champions, but we did get things that turn on Nightfall better. That's a champion. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. It's our time. All right, good start. Nine damage on turn two. Super cool star chart. How cool is it? Predictable. Embrace the night, Aphelios. Do I want to open attack? That's the main question. Do I want to like play Diana right now so I can open attack next turn? Or I could save the spell mana. You know, have like Stalking sh Shadows, Diana, Unspeakable Horror, have all three of these. Find your own light I think I want to do that. I think I want to open attack. Is a light I cherish. Reach out, Aphelios. No more hiding. So we'll see, we'll see if it is just a bunch of... Okay, it's not. It's a bunch, I was going to say, we'll see if it's a bunch of troll chant type stuff. Alright, so we have one card that we really want more than others, and that would be Doom Beast. Doom Beast. And, uh, we found one. What do you got? What do you got, Morning Tea Time? So the Doom Beast can drain two, and of course the Unspeakable Horror can drain one as well. Um, they're going to need something like Star Shaping. And that's what they're looking at their cards. They're looking, looking at their nine cards and see if one of them says Star Shaping. I'm 
kind of guessing it's game. Oh no, they have star shaping. Well, that's... That's a thing. So we're going to just go ahead and open attack. Whatever the cost. And we'll see what they have. Not let, not let them play like a life seal card first or anything like that. I don't think that does anything. That does turn on Nightfall. But all right. Ended up getting there two and zero oh with our nightfall aggro. That one, that hand was definitely an aggro hand. GGS. Ooh, looks like we're playing against a go hard. Not a deck you see all the time anymore. Still a pretty solid deck. So prediction has started against go hard. We think we will win or lose. Looks like we're going to be. Looks like we're going to have an Aphelios hand this time. Um, I think I want to mulligan these Stalking Shadows. I don't know. I mean, Stalking Shadows is a great card. But it's going to be a slow card. But maybe we just play the slow game. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we just play the slow game this this time. You know, with Aphelios is, of course, a slow card also. Okay. Uh, I know what <laughs> so much for keeping the slow hand. This game. Whoops. I think we're going to want the two cost follower. And I'm hoping it's the elusive that can block for me. And I think we're going to want a two cost follower. And I'm hoping that it's the elusive that can block for me. Because, of course, the other option is the Evershade Stalker. I don't want it to be that. All right, let's get some two cost followers. Uh, two cost follower with Calibrum that will deal three damage in case they have Zap Sprayfin. Do three damage to the Sprayfin. Good. Got the blocker. Damage or the life steal? We want the damage. Want to have Unspeakable Horror available, but also we kind of have to play two cards to get this other moon weapon. I'm kind of glad we drew this Evershade Stalker, <laughs> so, so we won't get it. Because uh, in how this specific game is, I don't really want to get it. Forgive me. I am with you. Yeah. Sorry, Felios, you did pretty good though. Did pretty good. Come closer. I don't bite. And you also don't tell the truth. We're going to I'm 
Let's go ahead with this. So they had Withering Wheel. I think that's the only card they've played so far is Withering Wheel. We could spell thief a Withering Wheel. Need to turn on this nightfall for the nocturne. Try to kill this twist of fate. It's already halfway to leveling up. So by playing this thing first instead of playing, like if I play Stalking Shadows first, it's so they're at six. So they need a Glimpse Beyond. That's their plan. I'll level that up. But now future Twisted Fates will be leveled up. I was hoping, like, if they would have gone with the Spray Fin, you know, we would have had Unspeakable Horror to kill the Spray Fin, but they, they know about that, so they're not going to target the Spray Fin. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, I think so. I think the only donate link is... That's the donate link. What is my turn going to look like this turn for me? I don't want to let them know that I have Doom Beast quite yet. Yeah, I don't I want to just give them that information immediately. But I guess now we will. So taking seven. We're gonna have nine mana next turn. I could immediately go to attacks. Let's see. Okay, no, you need nightfall for them not to be able to block. So I'm not scared of Ruination, because if they cast Ruination, we can put up enough. It's time you summon an ally, give it plus one, plus zero, and spell shield. Okay, so we know they're not going to cast Ruination. Eight mana. I think I'll just want to go with, with the twos. Evershade Stalker, Pale Cascade. 
How do they? If I attack right now, how do they stay alive? They use grass to the undying, but they still can't. They still can't block any of these. So the, the, the grass puts them to 15. I guess it's only. But then they block one of these others. Okay, so they're not dead. So what's their plan? It kind of has to be grass the undying. If it's withering, like withering whale is not going to do it. They did not have a plan. At least not a good not one that worked against Nocturne. It has only just begun. GG's. Burn aggro. So Doom Beast, good against Burn Aggro. Um you know, Diana, pretty good there too. We're gonna so we're gonna keep those. Probably just going to be morning tea time. Thank you so much for the the cheers there for the donation deck. Thank you very much. Alright, 2-3. A 2-3 can block. Just generic 2-3. Doesn't have elusive, that's fine. So I'm going to go Stalking Shadows. We'll take the Elusive. I don't know, it's 5-3 Overwhelm. But this thing's just kind of expensive. I think we need the cheap card in this matchup, so we're going to take the Elusive. I'll pass the turn, see if they play anything else into the Diana. Um, it's probably a Draven, which... Diana doesn't really kill Draven. Okay, no, they're going more House Spiders. We can kill house spiders. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. For truth. The sun rock got me good. Okay. So a 7-6, how are we killing a 7-6? I guess I can just stun it. I guess we just kind of have to do that, don't we? For a little bit, buy me some time. And this doesn't really matter which one you choose. Yes, they discarded a Draven to the Urchin, so maybe they have another Draven in hand. That uh, vision may win them this game. They didn't already have it won. The sun children deny our light. Jinx stands for Jinx. Yep, yep. Targon's the best region in the game. And so the, the new expansion just, just widened the gap between Targon and the other regions. But great hand for my opponent. Looks like they got this one. Able to go wide with multiple house spiders and and then crowd favorite. Vision. Jinx. Good good hand. Good game. Should turn on the nightfall for that, yes. Now that that other nightfall's turned on. This puts me down to six. 
Gotcha. I think I think we're really dead. Everyone goes boom. <laughs> we're going boom. All right, three and one. Great hand fighting. Great game. Mm. This is gonna be a tough matchup. Fiorshin. Fiorshin's always a tough matchup. Get rid of the Evershade Stalker. I think the best thing about this unspeakable horror for this matchup is that it blows up a barrier. I think that's what I really like about it. Um, of course, I like the the Duskbringer Aphelios stuff. These woods protect their own. Now we could use Diana to challenge Caretaker, but I think I'm going to just wait on at that. What moon weapon do I want here? Do I want... I think I may want the deal three. I am one with the land. Yeah, especially with another one. I probably want like the deal three to a follower. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Embrace the night, Aphelios. We will resist. Follower down. Throw this into the stun. You could definitely see them going single combat. Which I, yeah, obviously I do not want them to go single combat, but I'm just saying that that's, that's something that I could see happening. Deny. Ooh, okay, okay. Find your own light within the darkness. So obviously a great exchange for us, because we just get more moon weapons back anyway. And the Diana does its thing, clears that out. Okay, so if they go, if they just play like the dragon, I can't just play the cloven way, because it has to be nightfall to do the stun thing. So I can't just lead with the cloven way. So basically whatever they play will just be leading with the gravitum. My patience wanes. They would fall by my blade. Stun two drop. So I basically just want another moon weapon in hand. And also level up Diana. I know it's not, we don't get the best use out of the, um, the Stygian Onlooker. We can, you know, cloven now, like they play something else, we cloven way, or I can uh, go get the stun moon weapon with this. Christian. We also, you know, with six mana this turn, I can still go like Nocturne plus Pill Cascade. I wonder if their I wonder if their plan is like judgment, right? Like if their plan was judgment, judgment ain't gonna happen. All these things, all my things have nightfall, so that will be a leveled up nocturne. So they won't be able to block unless they play repost. Whatever the cost. There's a repost. Precision and grace. Get 
them down to one. I'm gonna go this on the Fiora. No, because let's see. So then they're gonna single combat. Actually, I should probably just let this happen. Because single combat's how I lose. If I do this, if I do this unspeakable horror here. I, and so, like, I think I just let it happen and then Unspeakable Horror. Oh, but then... Oh, this is a Nocturne's Unspeakable Horror, though. So if I let this happen, the Nocturne dies. And then I don't have Unspeakable Horror anymore. Hmm. So I guess... I guess I have to do it. I know I... So I... I like doing the one damage to the Fiora instead, because remember, the Diana is going to get plus two, plus zero from the Unspeakable Horror. So, like, it's still going to be lethal. So that's why I don't really want to aim it at the Nexus. There's not... I'd rather... If something went wrong, I'd rather be taking out that Fiora. Keep faith, Aphelios, and we will find our peace. So, a uh, good run there for our Nightfall aggro. That looked pretty good. Like, I, I liked all three of our champions, right? Like, all three of our champions did different stuff that was really good. You know, like, we had the Diana with that, that cheap uh, card with the Challenger. It definitely looked great in different games. Um, and it was able to, to get really large. Um, yeah, it did it did a lot of good stuff for us um, in multiple games. And then, you know, Nocturne also. Again, you know, with the Fearsome and the Vulnerable, it's also a really good card. And that, that helped out a lot against the Go Hard deck. Um, and then, obviously, Aphelios with the Moon Weapons was incredible for us. So all three of our champions were really good. And so that's why whenever putting the deck together, and I was like, okay, well, usually you play two champions in a deck, right? And you play three copies of, of both champions. But just all three champions I really wanted to have access to. So I'm, I'm happy with the 2-2-2 two, two, two split. There's not really any of them that I think they would be 1-3. and three. Um, Yeah, I honestly liked the split with all of them. Let's see. Other cards. I was just, you know, the moon weapons are amazing. And so the, the um, gifts from beyond, pretty happy with those. I didn't do a ton with the spell thief, but was happy with that. Um, yeah, basically liked everything in our deck. Like the, the cloven way. Didn't do too much with it, but it was still pretty good. I don't know. I just think I think that Aphelios raised the ceiling of our Nightfall aggro deck, and it, it looked good. And and uh, you know having having our champions, um, you know, just just looked like a, a good solid deck. And going four and one in Masters rank is not easy, and um, you know we'll take it. So, all right. So that's a, another successful deck here. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you wanted to play some Nightfall, if you're you know trying to figure out what to do with Diana and Aphelios and, and Nocturne and wanted to play um, a Nightfall aggro deck, give this list a try. I was I was really happy with it. There was nothing about it that I disliked, but the there are tons of great cards you can play in Shadow Isles and Targon. And if you want to play some different cards, you can. You know, if you want to replace Eclipse Dragon with um, something else, you can. Same with the Cloven Way. You know, like I wanted to try out the Cloven Way. Those are those are cards that if if you want to if you you know if you have other cards that you really like, um, you know if you want to make it more more mid rangey, you can with you know more value cards or like the Fangs and Star Shapings and stuff like that. If you want to play some more removal that I don't have, you can. If you want to play Cygnus, you can do that. If you want, you know like there's there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, but I was I was happy with this list. So yeah, so leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the list and uh, just anything else in general about life or Nightfall Acro or whatever. <laughs> I love seeing those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.